Hello, people, and welcome back to some more Metroid Prime with Robert Link. Hello. So, where we left off, we took a lot of damage, but we managed to get the plasma beam. All right, according to these, according to the map, there should be room with uh, enough flex tape to repair all that damage right around here. So let's go. Just slap on some flex tape and boom, no more leaks. I'm probably paraphrasing, but who cares? <laughs> Phil Swift here. Uh oh. Oh boy, it's a big dude. I thought there was gonna be shadow pirates coming out of the ceiling. Can I just not? Nope. Rick. They locked it. I'm gonna die here. Oh yeah, that's right, because <laughs> we were just saying it off off camera that uh there's a save station in like attached to the next room. That's like really, really helpful because we're low on health. And they pull this in a very enclosed space. Well, at least the plasma sh the plasma beam made short work of them. Apparently, I mixed those words up. So <laughs> the plasma shmeem. <laughs> All hail the plasma shmeem. <laughs> All right, let's get that sweet sweet health back. I hear things, I do not care. He actually dropped like over a hundred health. Oh, he did. But still not enough. We require more. Okay. Sustenance. Hmm. Oh. Door <laughs> cannot be opened with that weapon. I wanted to open it up and have my beam charged. Oh wait. Oh, I can't because these are ice guys. Like I'm thinking, if it if it's not too much trouble. Oh wait, incoming scan data. Unique phazon readings analyzed. High levels of phazon found on mobile source. Mobile source. Elite quarters. Huh. All right. I have a distinct feeling I have, like I have a distinct feeling I know exactly what that is. I think so too, because I remember. Yeah, I do something. actually remember. <laughs> You're just gonna replenish that health that they. Yes. That they stole from you. Yes. I was thinking maybe, maybe if it's not too much trouble, I should try and see if I can figure out how to make the whole screen shake as I do the uh, door cannot be opened with that weapon thing. <laughs> we'll see. Well, we know how we can avoid this. It's a good thing we figured that out. Yep. Neener, neener, neener. Ow. Yay. Pacifist drought. That's the first time in a long time we got to do that. But a random thought I had during our time at the save station was, how long is the plot of this game supposed to take place in, in terms of like, in universe time? Because I was thinking, wouldn't, wouldn't Samus get hungry, you know, during, and have to eat during the time that it takes to do all the stuff in the story of the game? Yeah, or use the bathroom, or maybe shower. I don't know, maybe her suit does all that for her. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if... If <coughs> yeah. if we go by speedrun times, I'm sure you could fit all this story into a very short period of time that wouldn't require you to have any sort of break. Probably. No, I think the what ice beam is doing. doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are specifically weak to ice. I would have mentioned it sooner, but I was busy ranting on about that whole thing. Yeah. Alright. Now we're supposed to go... Uh, do what exactly? Oh. Hmm. 
certain ghost platforms or something like that. I wonder if it's possible to actually, possible to actually do this without the x-ray visor. Like, if you tried enough times. It could be. Huh. It's like one of those uh, Looney Tunes moments. It's like, huh, oh, there's nothing below me. Uh... Oh no. Really? You didn't make it. Hmm. Touching the face on seems to make a different noise here than it does in the sequel. Really? I think so. Can you make it? You made it. There we go. Yep, that still hurts. But what did you expect? <laughs> I expected it to hurt. Well, then you weren't disappointed, were you? <laughs> no. Is there another shroom to climb on? Yes, there is. You're missed again. I'm developing a nasty habit of that. Christ, it's dark. Oh. Oh, that's wait. that's a. Uh, wait, does that mean it's something you could blow up? Wait, I think there might have been a scan too. Here, yeah. Bendesium within wall is unstable. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's basically just like in the room where we found the x-ray visor. If you see through a wall in that visor, that means it's destructible. Is there anything in here? I think it might just be a shortcut through if you blow that one up too. I guess. Also Bendesium. Yep. Unless it leads to like an expansion. But it might just lead back. All right, and we could check it later, if just in case. But for now, we move onward. Ooh. Okay, this is normal. Now target the other one. That's. <laughs> Did they avoid coming out while you're shooting? Maybe. Maybe that's it, why. Yeah, because it does seem like they just kind of stay there otherwise. Access to phase on mines level 3 granted. Jeez. This place runs deep. It does. Oh, is that the crater? I think it might be. Yeah, so far this room and the last one I actually don't remember as much. Hmm. Well, I said as much, but really I meant like I didn't really remember them at all. Oh boy, more Hunter Metroids. Okay, I do vaguely remember this room at least. I do remember hopping between mushrooms while there were Hunter Metroids. That's something I do remember. Mm. Dang, they are very uh, heated mushrooms. Apparently. Although I guess it could be the fact that they're absorbing Phazon. Because generally radioactive stuff lets bleh, radioactive stuff lets off heat. 
oh. I think. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I can already hear the angry typing in the well, comments. Well, actually... <laughs> Okay, I assume I need to use this. Yeah, remember these guys were in the uh, ice caves as well. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have the grapple beam back then. It's like strange, these guys always seem to be nearby to the hunter metroids. Ah! You missed again! That's like, what, the third time? Yes. Oh, do I have to go all the way back? You might. Uh. You failure. <sighs> that wasn't even that wasn't even the swinging part. <laughs> Does it have to be frozen to swing on it? I don't think so. Oh, I think it stops in place when you do it. Hmm. Okay. Finally, we made it. That was an ordeal. Oh, I guess there's nothing here. Oh, well. Okay, uh... I'm assuming that's probably power bomb. Probably. It looks like everything else that's required a power bomb. Yep. <laughs> it's probably like, we're not giving you a scan for this one. If you can't figure this out, you're dumb. <laughs> At least you could get through that way if you fail. Oh, that's just more phase on. Click this way if you want to uh, bathe in the phase on. It's a bit dark in here. I think another thing I like about the sequel more is that in this one, it, you kind of have to guess for certain enemies what might be more effective against them. In the sequel, ev everything is very clear cut. Yeah. For reasons that will become obvious when we play. Jeez. Yes, the biggest weakness of the ice beam in this game is it is slow as crap. Like, good luck hitting moving targets with it. Especially at distances. Okay. Might as well see what's in the little place. Probably a save station. Like, hey, you remembered which door type it was. Or you could have looked at the map, I guess. Yeah, I just remembered. It's like, is he kind of to the wrong one? <laughs> <laughs> missiles fully replenished. Oh, okay. You bet. Is there something we need missiles for? Huh. Because the only, the only time I'd actually expect them to put those is if there's something nearby that specifically requires missiles so that you don't get stuck. It's like the only time I actually expect them to put those there. Unless they figure maybe you're doing the ice beam missile combo on a lot of Metroids. Oh, uh, that could be. And you somehow fail to grab a lot of missile upgrades. Well, I mean, if you're trying to do one of those runs where you get like no pickups, no uh, expansions rather. That'd probably be helpful. He's dork. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not dork. Oh, that's right. There's some of these guys that are invisible for no apparent reason. It's like, you has energy. Ah. 
Give me, give me energy. <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice straight shot. Well, I need three angled shots, really. Okay, for some reason I thought these guys might be different. I find it odd that they're weak to this weapon and that they actually burn. Because if they're using plasma technology that's superheated, yet they can catch on fire, wouldn't you protect against that if they're using it? Just maybe, but nah. Or at you since you're staying still, apparently. I'm still bothered by the fact that they fire yellow shots no matter what type they are. Yeah. Okay, is, it, is he out of range? Uh, he might be. Ow. There we go. It's like, I want them to fix that yellow shot thing. It's like, <laughs> Nintendo, make a, uh... Remastered version. Yes. I was thinking it's like the, um... Like Metroid Prime, the uh, the Bounty Hunter collection? Yes. I can't make it. Was there either a grapple point or an invisible platform or something? Probably. If I was smart, I would have checked. I was busy thinking of my bit, so I didn't actually look that hard either. Alright, so I don't see an invisible platform. Ah, grab uh -huh. a point. Whee. Hey, open up so I can kill you. Look, I wonder when lunch is. <laughs> Security override control engaged. Access granted. You cannot deny us access. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Wait. He's purple. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't see. I just knew there was someone up there. I couldn't tell because all the wave beam colors are the same for them. Or all the power. You know what I mean. Yeah. That thing I mentioned that they should fix in a remastered edition. To be fair, though, a lot of it, the graphics are still pretty good. Like, not a lot needs to be remastered. Just slip down. Alright, these scannable? No. Oh. Numerous fractures present in this quartite shaft. Really? Could it be another missile expansion? Yes, it is. I'll take that. Data suggests that Omega Pirate lifespans are critically low. High levels of phazon exposure are causing rapid cell degeneration in all test subjects. <clears throat> no subject lived longer than two decacycles in other simu in our simulations. Their lifespans must be increased to be cost effective. As we continue to observe the development of Project Helix's elite pirates, it becomes increasingly obvious that these warriors will usher in a new era of space pirate dominance. They are incredibly resistant to damage and their ability to transport and wield so many weapons at once makes them the ideal mainstays of our ground forces. Though they are not as quick as typical pirates, it makes little difference. With a platoon of elite pirates in the vanguard of an army of normal and flying pirates, we will have a near indestructible backbone that should turn the tide in any engagement. Mm. Omega pirate absorption system test results are in. Field tests indicate that the system is very effective against beam weaponry. We are we are alarmed at the field's inability to handle missile attacks, however. Science team is working around the clock to correct this critical design flaw. 
The Omega Pirate cannot afford such a weakness in battle. Hmm. So I believe the Omega Pirate was the the specific elite pirate that happened to be much more receptive to Phazon, so was willing to consume a ton more. Hmm. What's through here? Ah. Save station. Health alert. Phazon radiation warning is still in effect. Do not enter a Phazon processing area without level B radiation gear. Or a level 8. I don't know. It's too hard to tell with that font. Yeah. Prolonged exposure is 100% fatal. Phazon processing efficiently at... Phazon processing efficiency at maximum. Production at 187% and rising. Hmm. What's with all this fog all of a sudden? Yeah. It's a bit weird. Oh, I think I see. It's like a frost or something from that. Oh. Oh, guess who it is. Okay, yeah, this is what I remembered. Mm-hmm. Morphology Omega Pirate, most powerful of the elite pirate forces. Omega Pirate can become invisible to normal sight. It is in, it is vulnerable when cloaked as all energy is drawn from defense systems. By exposing itself to Phazon, it can regenerate damaged tissue and organs. Considered the pinnacle of the elite pirate program, this enemy should be handled with extreme caution and maximum firepower. Okay. Hey, we're just visiting. You don't mind, do you? I don't think he likes guests. Ow. Sidestep step jumping. Can you still hit him with missiles like before? With the other ones? Oh. Apparently missiles are very effective. I wonder if they were just weakened enough that that was enough. Okay, I can't see his shoulders with them though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he gets two of those things on his back. It's like, what makes them so special? Oh, right. He eats all his phase on like a good boy. It's like instead of eat your broccoli, it's like eat your phase on. Well, what? He teleports? I don't think I'm going to win this in the first try. The angle on it is really finicky. Like, yeah. Sometimes it wants to hit, sometimes it wants to bounce.
You know, like quickly, can you spot them with a different visor on one of the pools? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's how I actually heard it. So yeah, judging by that research data, apparently this guy's worst enemy is actually time. Because they don't live long, apparently. At least when they consume this much phase on. Can I just wait outside the door and let him die of old age? Then that would take like months, not not hours. At least I think. Well, it depends on how long a cycle is. Ow. Well, I assume a cycle is a day. I just don't remember how many cycles it said. I think it said like two deca cycles. So that'd be what twenty days? I guess. Sound like he reappeared. Huh. Before you were fine on health, but now you're a little bit in trouble. Oh, wait, there's some to your left. Yeah, there is. There you go. Don't have time to deal with you guys. Alright, I think he's appeared. That's all lets me hurt him. Oh, he's still in your weapons. I can't. Uh. Ah, what's going on? Everything is going on. Now we'll fire. What the? Looks like this might be an extra long episode because I didn't think this would actually take this long. I did. I was like, nah, I didn't think it's fine. So I guess what you gotta have to try and do is defeat the troopers before he reappears so you have a lot of time. Yeah. I know my energy is low. Alright, sounds like he's back. It's hard to do this with just the power beam. It's just time. He may or may not be getting agitated. Oh, come on. I'm so tired to just give up. Yeah, so I guess a good game plan would be, especially if they throw power troopers at you, as soon as you hear this guy reappear, you should probably focus him. Mm. If if your health allows it. Doesn't help that he has that power beam like grabber on like twenty four seven practically. Except for when he does a shot wave. See, it wasn't even glowing, and I still attracted it. This guy I'm going to die just by stepping in phase on. <laughs> Ow. Oh, boy. Well, this is it for me. I 
Oh wow, it sucks that in too. Apparently. Well. Ugh. I guess we'll try again next time. Yeah. Alrighty. See you later then. All that time just for a defeat. Goodbye. Bye.